Montmartre Dreamtime DIY Art. Hello, Montmartre Joe here again, and today I'm a little bit more excited than usual because I get to demonstrate this wonderful new art kit from Montmartre, and I will be painting this beautiful Dreamtime artwork. There are six designs to choose from, each one created by renowned Aboriginal artist Michael J. Connolly. On the back of each canvas, Michael has recollected an Aboriginal Dreamtime story of each animal. Okay, so let's pull this out. So each set includes a 30 by 40 centimetre canvas panel with guidelines. You also get six vibrant acrylic colours in 10 millilitre tubes. One round Taclon, one flat hog bristle and one wide flat bristle brush. You also get the instructions. Okay, to get started you will need a palette and a tub of water. I'm using a Montmartre brush washer for this. Okay, so let's get this paint into the palette. So for the background, mix a ochre and vermilion to make a nice burnt orange colour. Now there's two ways you can handle this. You can either go around the lines or you can just do a flat wash over everything. And so you can see the lines underneath. And that's what I'm going to do. Mix in some water so the paint is thinner and flows better. Then simply use long sweeping motions across the canvas. There are less streaks this way. Once we've got our background on, wash your brush up, put some pure ochre in there, and then we're just going to do some strips across here. It's important you do it whilst the background is still wet, so the ochre blends nicely. On to step three now. Our background is dry, so we have to paint the kangaroo in black, avoiding the thinner guidelines. Use the flat hog bristle for the larger areas. And for the smaller areas, use your round. This is really great for getting into those tight areas. Paint the middle circles with black as well. These circles represent the significant sites in the journey. Now the black's done, we need to paint a little bit of cerulean blue around each concentric circle around the black ring. That blue looks lovely against the background. Okay, we're putting on our light green now. And this is on the largest circle around the blue. On with the white now. Remember to leave a few lines free of colour for the next step. So paint the journey lines in. Again, take your time to stay within the guidelines. I'm leaving these lines free of colour for the ochre and the vermilion. The last step is to fill these lines with vermilion and ochre. And now on with the ochre. Once that's dried, it's ready to be framed and admired. So give this a go and collect all six. And I know you'll have as much fun as I did. And at the end of it, you will certainly have something you can be proud of. So until next time, keep on painting.